just upgraded my Escalade. Just missing turbo. Oh, we'll make some money. We need 4,000 so I can install the turbo. We've got 2,000 already in the bank, so we need 2,000 more. I see a car in front of me. Let's try an outrun. Yeah, let's try it. I mean, it's not gonna hurt me. I'm gonna win for sure, of course. But it might take some time though. Oh, look at my engine sound. Look at the sound of my Escalade. Wow, sounds good. Maybe with the turbo it'll sound better. What do we have here? Whoa. Uh oh. Man, the race started and he's already taken off. Okay, this is gonna be harder than I anticipated it would be. Man, this is very hard to control in the corners. I wonder how he's doing it. He's crashing all over the place, is he? I've got a brake, so, oh man, traffic, come on, let me go, come on. Oh, oh, he crashed as well, okay. That's where I got the lead, isn't it? Okay, I'm trying to brake and manure at the same time. That's not really easy. Uh, I guess I've told you guys this a couple of times now. Okay, let me make him crash, crash there, yes. <laughs> He crashed there. Okay, time to head to the airport so I can get some speed and and lose him. Okay, maybe I'll lose him now. Yeah, all right. Remember the feeling. Ain't nothing but down the road. <laughs> Remember the feeling. All right. Oh, we've got a drag here. I'm, there's no way I'm gonna do a drag on, on this race. This car. I mean, if I'm gonna be doing any races, it's gonna be SUV, so I think I've got a C for an S. Yeah, I can see one on my screen. Ah, it's right here. So let's do that. Let's do the SUV race for uh, our Escalade. All right, there it is, there it is. It's very close. If I have my turbo, I don't know how I'll be able to control my car. Without turbo and uh, my brakes and, and my tires upgraded, I'm struggling to control this car. With turbo, I'll be probably flying. <laughs> I think we've been here before. Oh, look at all these logs. Looks like uh, only heavy engines work here. So it's obvious that there's gonna be an escalated race and there's an SUV race. Oh, so we've got a Hummer, we've got another Escalade, and I think we've got a Navigator. Why didn't they add, uh, I don't know, Land Cruiser or anything else? I mean, there were so many Toyota brands here. And Nissan, why didn't they have any SUV from Nissan? Pathfinder or something like that. I guess it's luxury Escalades. Sorry, luxury SUVs. Look at these guys. It feels like my fat aunts are walking. <laughs> I mean, if I had my uh, Eclipse right now, I would have been going so fast. I think I would have been already halfway through. There's no way I can take that shortcut now, is there? Okay, let me try to stay on the road and not crash my left or right. Okay, my goal is just to stay on the road, balance myself enough, slide and all that. Okay, he needs to go. Look at that Hummer doing so well. Oh, I've got a guy taking two seconds lead. Oh, he's right here. Man, I don't feel my NOS is working. Maybe I need to go set it up. Time to get out of the way. Did he get out of the way? No, he's right here. I can hear his engine sound. He's right behind me. Okay, he's just overtaking me. 
Is this a navigator? Yeah, time to go out, buddy. Good racing. Man, if somebody flipped me, I would struggle to get back in the race. There's no way. I mean, if, if it was a uh, sedan, I would. If it was my Eclipse, I would get back in the race. But here with the Escalade, I have no confidence. I need to maintain that lead, otherwise there's no winning. Okay. Looks like it's holding up okay. Cool. Alright, looks like um, there's a chance I will win. I've got a kind of a lead, let's say. Oh man, the, that slipping isn't helping. He's right behind me, oh, isn't he? Oh, uh, finish line! Ah, yeah. Winner, winner! Alright, zero repetition points, I don't mind. Let's save this. Oh man. Alright. Let's see if we can do another outrun, maybe? If we find anyone, yeah, let's do another outrun. Well, it's gonna take some time for uh, other cars to pop up. <laughs> Man, I think without turbo, I'm nothing. Where do we have the SUV race? We have one here. Okay, let's do that. We've got one in Beacon Hill, or was it Jackson Heights? We'll see when, to, when we get there. By the way, I think I should take this opportunity to speak about the uh, Escalade Hummer and the Navigator. Yeah. Well, the Escalade just came out, so I'm guessing most of you guys know about it. What's happening with the car? Have you seen them around your cities now? Um, the new Escalade looks damn good. It could be a game changer for uh, General Motors. But even more exciting is the Hummer. The Hummer EV. Man, that looks so awesome. You know what, guys? I'm going to do General Motors a favor. And I'm going to put the link to the Hummer EV that they have, uh, the concept they've just released. So I'll, I'll put a link in my description for uh, Hammer EV. Don't worry, nobody's endorsing me or anything. It's just that, you know, I'm the fan of uh, NFS games. And I'd like to you guys to see this. I'm, I'm sure most of you guys have already seen it, but you know. Just go ahead, look at the news anyway. It's for your info. The car is not coming to, uh, not coming in out of production until 2022, I guess. But look at the features, man. It's got some good stuff. Look at these guys. Everybody already out there. Doing the racing. Okay, second position isn't bad, given all that uh, fat ladies are... <laughs> no offense to fat ladies. No offense for any fat ladies. <laughs> yeah. I was just watching a movie and I heard this dialogue where the guy says uh, it's more offensive when you say oh man I'm stuck okay there we go <laughs> so the guy says right it's more offensive when you say that no offense and you say something offensive <laughs> it's something really offensive so the other guy says you know doesn't it smooth it out like yeah maybe so yeah, Hummer EV is coming out with uh, some good stuff. It's got the crab mode, it's, it's uh, completely electric. It's uh, zero emission, no sound, which means it'll, it'll be passing by you as a silent, I don't know, what's silent animal? A more silent animal. Yeah, maybe the tires will make noise, isn't it? I mean, they should, it's such a heavy vehicle. And even though, let's say, they do with EV and all that, you know, put the carbon fibers in there and all that. Still, you know, it's, it's, when it moves on the road, it's, it's got to make some noise. I mean, the tires are going to make noise, right? 
I mean, it can't be completely silent. So, they're saying no engine sound, which sounds about right. But, yeah, I don't know. Let's see when it comes out. Let's see it in 2022. I'm just a fan of it right now. I'm, I'm sure most of you guys are. So that's why I checked the description. Man, how did that guy take a shortcut? He was right behind me, or I was trying to crash him into the wall, but look at that. Sean. Sean has got a four minute lead already, or four seconds lead already. Oh man, look at me struggling from the curves. Okay, finally some straight road to catch up. Well, there's some curves, but I think I can handle it. Not if I crash like that. And the brakes are obviously helping. Okay, we've got a straight road. So when, it, when it's a straight road, I'm confident that I can catch up. Oh man, look at us flying together. Oh, is that a flight on top? Oh, found a shortcut, okay. Accidentally found a shortcut. Well, not very helpful, was it? This guy is again in front of me. Mm -hmm. Okay. That curve really that curve really helped though. I mean I was able to bypass him <laughs> by making him crash. Okay, we've got another lap to go approaching the finish line. We've got another lap to go. I think I've got a hang of it. Now I know the shortcuts and yeah, we gotta be very careful. And uh, the places to break is what I wanted to say. Cool, I'm gonna take all the shortcuts now or whatever I think makes sense when I reach the point. Okay, that's the straight road. That's good, that's good. So, Hammer is now a part of uh, General Motors, isn't it? I think Hammer came out on, uh, I don't know, 1998 or something. Or, I don't know, somewhere around 1990s, not, not before that, I think. Obviously, obviously, it was in the U.S. There's uh, no other country that uh, that that such a car, such a big car, would have emerged. U.K. No way. <laughs> I mean, it's not like uh, U.K. doesn't have the capacity for new cars or uh, bigger vehicles. But I guess the General Motors and Ford were uh, on it to make uh, big, bigger cars. And I think Hammer was owned not by General Motors. General Motors bought it later. So, Hammer is now part of GMC, General Motor Corporation, just like Chevrolet and, uh, and we've got GMC, Chevrolet and Cadillac. All right. I didn't realize that. Just when I said so, I realized that all three are part of uh, the same mother brand. That's good. So, Hammer, Hammer has come in Hammer H1, Hammer H2, Hammer H3. Most, mostly the difference was the size and the capacity of the vehicle. Well, what's interesting is the Hummer EV. Like I said, I'm gonna put up a link in the description, guys. Go ahead and look at it. Well, anyway, I think the COVID pandemic is really pushing the, the first production of the car. Or maybe the concept has uh, been produced already because the video that they have produced, it's got the first car. Or maybe that's just a demo model for testing purposes and all that. Yeah, that's good anyway. This car has been in, featured in a lot of uh, races. Um, one being this, and there are a lot of other racing games that it has been um, it has been part of. Now I don't, I can't name others, but I know I've played a few. It's not coming to my mind right now. Or maybe I'll look up, look up and uh, you know, give you guys some references. Whew, okay, taking most of the shortcuts, do the best I can. All right, 
that was a handbrake pull, a desperate move to sustain my lead. Okay, I think this should be an easy win now. I was thinking about saving my NOS to uh, the end for this line, but I guess, you know, it was good I saved it for... I, I, it's good that I used it at the curves and all that. All right, winner, winner. Well, time to call it an episode, guys. Thanks for staying on so long. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye. Cheers.